This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 456, The Best Marketers Read Minds, by Margot Aaron of ThatSeemsImportant.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host and narrator, reading to you every single day from these great blogs on entrepreneurship to help you optimize your business life. And now let's get right to our post from Margot as we optimize your life. The Best Marketers Read Minds by Margot Aaron of ThatSeemsImportant.com Talent agencies are a strange world. They have Ivy League lawyers working in the mailroom. Employees burst out in temper tantrums and no one blinks an eye. Name dropping is an acceptable form of conveying social status and garnering respect. It's a strange, strange place. I know because in the summer of 2007, I interned at one. It wasn't really my jam. The parties, name dropping, celebrity, not for me but I learned a lot about the entertainment business. Later that year, I returned to college in Atlanta and landed my dream internship at CNN. Finally, to be around journalists where they didn't care about status and power and parties and entertainment, just integrity and telling the truth. Yeah, my naivete bubble burst pretty quickly after my first day on the job. After interning in LA for a summer, it was pretty clear to me that CNN was in the entertainment business puzzling part was that CNN employees believed they worked in journalism. Three hours of waiting for some unknown dignitary to get off a plane was important, they said. That's what the people want to know, they said. We have a responsibility to the public, they said. This is news, they said. They believed, like we all do, in the story they told themselves. What story? The truth is that both of the companies where I was working were in entertainment. They make money because you watch movies and TV, but they don't view themselves as being in the same industry. One believes it's in advertising and sales. The other believes it's in journalism and media because of the story. Story and storytelling are buzzwords we love to abuse in marketing. But what does that even mean? When we say story today, we mean the things you tell yourself in the confines of your own mind. The things you think are true about the world, but they're not exactly. Like this, smart people get good grades. You're not really an adult unless you're married and you have a house. And professional people wear suits. These are stories we believe. They aren't lies, but they're also not true. Some very smart people get very bad grades. You can be an adult without a house. Professional people can wear hoodies. These stories exist in our minds and define our worldview. They're difficult to identify because we don't recognize them as stories. We recognize them simply as how the world works. The truth is irrelevant. This man doesn't exist. The man in a Hathaway shirt. It was one of the first print ads to use story appeal to sell a product in 1951. The story is not about an eye patch or a shirt. It's about the type of man who buys a Hathaway shirt. But his story sold tens of thousands of shirts. It doesn't matter if it's true. It matters that your customer believes the story. No, not the story of the fictional man in the Hathaway shirt. The other story. The story of who your customer becomes when he puts on a Hathaway shirt. That story. It's the same story with every brand. Who your customer becomes when they put on Nike sneakers, eat Kind Bars, or use your software. The truth is irrelevant. It's the story that matters. And to know the story you need to tell your customer you have to identify the story they're telling themselves. You have to know how to read their mind. How to read minds. The data on what your customer believes will never show up in your market research. It won't show up in surveys. It won't show up in interviews. It exists between the lines, in the silences. To read your customer's mind, you have to have different ears. Yes, ears. You have to listen to what they don't say. Listen to what they do. Listen to their behavior. Listen for their assumptions. Listen for the stories they've told themselves about the way the world works. It's our job to connect the dots between what they say and what they do. It's our job to listen for the story. They say, I try to cook three times a week. I just don't have time. The untrained ear hears, they're busy. They really want to be healthier. We need to emphasize convenience and locale in our marketing. Trained ears hear, They want to cook because they think they should, but honestly, they don't give an F. It's not a priority for them. 
They just feel guilty about how much they order takeout. They'd be happier if they allowed themselves to not feel like about how much they order out. Knowing that story leads your team to craft a brand message about reducing the guilt instead of being healthier. The difference between those two stories is millions of dollars. What the best marketers know. The story your customer tells themselves determines where they spend their time, attention, and money. The best marketers know that the only thing that matters is what your customer believes. The stories they believe about themselves and about the world determine their behavior. The best marketing works when the brand story and customer stories match up. For example, if your customer story is this, I'm centrist but I lean left because that's just reasonable. Their brand is CNN. CNN's story is, we report the news. We tell people the things they need to know. We are serious journalists, but we lean left because that's just reasonable. If their story is, I'm a right-wing conservative and the liberal media is deceiving all of you and brainwashing you, I don't trust anyone. Then their brand is Fox. Fox's story is, we are the whistleblowers on the evil leftist conspiracy. We're doing you a service. We are the only ones you can trust. If their story is, I'm exhausted and it's been a long day and right now I don't give a rat's ass what's going on in Syria. Their brand is Bravo. Bravo's story is, pour yourself a glass of wine and come hang out with us. Don't take yourself so seriously. We won't judge you. You're safe here. Compared to our reality stars, your life is drama free. The best marketers know that the brand story and the customer story must be aligned. Otherwise, the marketing won't work. You just listened to the post titled The Best Marketers Read Minds by Margot Aaron of ThatSeemsImportant.com. With hybrid work becoming the norm, the strongest teams have two things in common, speed and alignment. Both come from having one hub where everyone can share work and processes, manage projects, and collaborate with clarity. For companies of all sizes, Notion provides one central and customizable workspace that can be tailored to fit any team and bring all teams together to get more done and move faster. Notion is an all-in-one team collaboration tool that combines note-taking, document sharing, wikis, project management, and much more into one space that's simple, powerful, and beautifully designed. With powerful integrations and seamless navigation, you'll have everything you need in one spot so you can make speed your advantage without the silos and context switching that slow companies down. It's what our team here at OLD uses to keep track of everything, and we highly recommend it. So learn more and get started for free at Notion.so. You can check it out on your own and invite as many folks as you want to see how it works. Take the first step toward an organized, happy team today. Again, at Notion.so. And big thanks to Margot Aaron. You can uh, come by thatseemsimportant.com to read a lot more from her. And if you're curious about where the site name came from, there's a nice little section on her about page that uh, I'll share with you right now. She says, quote, I want you to start being honest about who you are and what you want, to stop judging yourself by other people's success metrics and start defining your own. In order to do that, we've got to shed the layers of bullshit you've acquired over the years and rewrite the invisible scripts that are ruining your life. If we have any hope of getting you to blend meaningful work and making money, we need to get through the muck of the emotional baggage we prefer to ignore. So we're going to talk about that because that seems important, end quote. So there you have it. You can come by thatseemsimportant.com for a lot more great content. But that's it for another edition of Optimal Startup Daily. Hope you enjoyed the post and are having a great day and I will see you right back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.